Hey, what's going on, you guys, and to all my YouTube fans everywhere. This is TJ Armour for you on YouTube, over and underscore for you on Twitter. And welcome to my final picks of the Super Bowl, the NFL 2017-2018 season. It's been a blast coming to you each and every week, giving you my picks and predictions and all that good stuff. It's just been a totally a great season for me. As my final season total was 185 wins and 85 losses straight up, 134 wins, 128 losses with five pushes. And we still got one more week, one more game. That's Super Bowl 52. If this is your first time, please click that subscribe button. And if you like the video, of course, at the end, you can click the thumbs up and let me know how I did and what your comments are please no negativity because i will write you right off so yeah with that let's get back to the uh, conference championships which we had last sunday the afc championship the jacksonville jaguars and the new england patriots pages won that game 24 to 20 i told you to take the patriots minus nine and a half win the game straight up and told you to take jacksonville to take it plus nine and a half and cover the spread Tom Brady went 26 for 38 with 290 yards with two touchdowns, including two to Danny Amendola to seal the deal as the Patriots came back 10 points down to beat Jacksonville. Blake Boyles didn't play very, didn't play that bad, but they failed to kind of score a little more as they had just a few more seconds left to try to throw something or even try to run a play to get three points or even throw for six, but it just didn't happen. Defense held in that game, but the offense of Jacksonville just couldn't click in that second half all along. So that's why Jacksonville is home and New England is on their way to Minnesota tomorrow. So that was one win on me. And in the NFC Championship game, it was the Philadelphia Eagles all over, and I mean just dominating the Minnesota Vikings 38-7. Nick Foles brought out the Nick Foles of 2013. He went 26 for 33, 352 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. Two of them went to Ashawn Jeffrey and one to Torrey Smith. And, of course, LeGarrette Blount rushed in for a touchdown as well. Nick Foles' quarterback rating was 141.4 in that game alone. And going into Super Bowl 52, he has a quarterback rating of 122.1, which is the most for any quarterback since 1970. So totally in that game, it was just unbelievable that they were able to hold off the Viking defense and to exploit them in all ways. And Case Keenan didn't know what was coming, as I told you what to expect. But yeah. Maybe it was the Minnesota Skull chant at the Art Museum and around the Rocky statue here in Philly that kind of let the Vikings kind of get stumbled and bumbled all around Philadelphia. Forget all about the negativity. That's not part of the game. It's just that simple. The Eagles find themselves nine, excuse me, the Eagles against, you know, NFC Championship Dome teams, they're 0 and 13 when playing a championship game, Minnesota being among that elite and all that crazy stuff. So yeah. So the Eagles are already in Minnesota getting prepared for their second meeting with the New England Patriots in over a decade. So in over two decades, I should say. So we shall see what happens in that game. So yeah, that's how last week went. Let us now get into my picks for the Super Bowl. As you already see, my pick is in. The Eagles and the Patriots next Sunday from the U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The New England Patriots are five and a half point favorites. Some are saying six point favorites in this game. Oh man, let me just tell you. The Philadelphia Eagles 
now and the Philadelphia Eagles of 2004 are just eerily similar. They had a young quarterback with Nick Foles, who's 29. And I think Donovan McNabb at the time was either 24, was either 25 or 26 at the time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. And Tom Brady, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, was only 30, was only 36, was only 26 years old at the time, 20, 26 years old at the time. So it's been a long time for these two teams to meet up. And it definitely is going to be a good game. And I think it's going to be a low scoring game for that matter. And the three reasons why the Eagles may and should sure win against the New England Patriots is because most of America wants the Eagles to win the game. And the Patriots, who's been winning almost like the Steelers have, to put an end to this dynasty. But three steps that the Eagles have to do to beat the Patriots. Force turnovers like they have been doing, in that, especially in that game against Minnesota last week. But most of all, the Eagles' ferocious defense needs to terrorize TB12, Tom Brady. If they do that, it's going to be a hell of a game for that defensive line of Philadelphia Eagles. Second, Nick Foles has to keep that groove like he did last week against the Vikings to come into the Super Bowl. I don't think Nick Foles is going to put up heavy numbers like he did against Minnesota, but it still can be close. Nick Foles has never faced the Patriots in his six-year career, even his first, you know, time here in the Super Bowl. So, yeah, definitely new things are coming on the rise, and, yeah, a lot of things can go down in this game. But definitely the Patriots has to keep Nick Foles under grabs. He can get out that pocket, but he can also be able to stop those blitzes Short passes, those RPOs, those screen passes, those bubble passes, the slants, as well as those flat throws. So definitely, Patriots got their work cut out. Meanwhile, Patriots has the poor, poorest passing defense. One of their worst of any Super Bowl team coached by Bill Belichick and under with Tom Brady. Meanwhile, the pass defense allows opponents to score 3.3 more points per game. And of course, that last time was when they lost to the Giants back in 2011. But yeah, I definitely see things are going to be similar, but sort of different than the other games that they've had in the past. But the season alone, the Patriots have given up 251.3 passing yards per game, which makes them rank 30th on pass defense and on the offensive end they have given up 18.5 points per game and that made them fifth overall in the NFL so definitely Nick Foles new to the game new to the scene can have a hands full with the Patriots so yeah and the third they have to win the special teams battle special teams with the Eagles against the Falcons almost failed them but they were able to overcome Last week, special teams did very well. They didn't turn over the ball or anything like that. But yeah, definitely special teams without Chris Maragos is going to be a little bit of a challenge because Maragos is a Super Bowl winner when he was with Seattle. But yeah, definitely special teams play a major role. And field goal kicking with the rookie Jake Elliott definitely over there as well. So this game is going to boil down to probably a field goal. Because that's why this is going to be a low-scoring game, I believe. But also for Nick Foles, he's the first quarterback in NFL history to have completions of more than 40 yards to three different receivers in postseason. He was 9 of 10 in the second half alone. Excuse me, he was 8 for 8 alone in that game against the Vikings in the second half last week, which he's 7 for 10 under pressure for 139 yards and two touchdowns in that game against Minnesota. So definitely, he's on a roll. And that's why the Eagles are on the dogs in this game. So with that said, the Patriots have the experience.
But the Eagles have Chris Long and they have LeGarrette Blount, who used to play the Patriots as defending Super Bowl champions players on another team. This is going to boil down to be one, if not the best, that these two have played since 2004. And I definitely think it's going to be a low scoring game, as I said before. So the Patriots have to stop that run game. Jay Jahi, LeGarrette Blount, and Corey Clement. If not, it's going to be a long night for the Patriots. The Patriots must, like I tell you, to contain Nick Foles. And definitely their, their cornerback corners has to stop Ashawn Jeffrey, Torrey Smith, and the others to name a few. So that's the Patriots thing, and they have to be on the ball on their offense to keep it quick going with Julian Edelman and Danny Amendola and Rob Gronkowski, who suffered a concussion, but he may be playing in Super Bowl 52. We'll just have to wait and see about that. He's not ready to play because he has not cleared a protocol, which I probably believe he will later in the week. Maybe. Because he practiced both yesterday and today. And they're leaving for Minnesota tomorrow. So, definitely most of America is going with the Eagles. And I believe in my heart, it's Eagles time. Eagles in this Super Bowl 52 to win this game 30 to 27. Could be a game winning field goal by Jake Elliott to seal the deal. And he may be MVP if he was to do it, but it's going to be a defensive battle. That's why the game is going to be low. Not high, but low. And I'm taking the Eagles to win the game straight up and take the points plus five and a half. The total points, 47 and a half, maybe 48 points. I'm going to keep it under because it's going to be that kind of a game. So with that, Eagles win. Eagles take the points plus five and a half and cover the spread. And the over-under will be under 47 and a half points. So that's my picks. What are yours? Post them down below. Let me know what your comments are and who you think will take Super Bowl 52. Good luck to all of you, as well as my YouTube prognosticators. Andrew Warren, special shout-outs to you. Him and I were supposed to do a video, but it wasn't to be. So, yeah. Gio, Justin, Billy B, Cody, Chris, Matt, you guys rock this season. Oh, Steven, of course, and Logan. Thanks for all that you guys have been doing. And keep it up. And good luck on your picks this week in Super Bowl 52. Check out their YouTube page. Their link is down below. And check us out on our Facebook page. That's also down below. We talk off-season about what the draft is going to look like and what's going to look like. In the years, I mean, in the weeks to come, as we head to 2018 2019 season in the NFL. Thank you guys so much. One more week, one more game. Eagles, Patriots. TJ Armin for you on YouTube, over in the for you on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching me each and every week. This is it. Super Bowl 52 is near and upon. And definitely, I will be seeing you guys on the next video. If my Eagles are to win or not, that's just what I have to do. It's in the books. So, thank you so much. And get me to near 400 subscribers before the end of the month, either or that or early February. But keep it coming, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I will see you guys later. Take care. And always, fly, Eagles, fly, as we are in Minnesota to win the Super Bowl. See you guys later.